uh, because most cases of domestic abuse that we that we that that are actually filed are actually what we would just call fights. Right. Okay. It would be a right. situation where where he's abusing, where he's fighting with her, and she's fighting with him too. Right. So is there a back and forth kind of things? Uh, that's the that's that's the. If at all, is there a path back to reconciliation after domestic abuse has been instituted in a relationship, in a, in a marriage? I'll start. Yeah, uh, I think there is. But once again, just like in the case of infidelity, uh, it is long mm -hmm. and it is difficult. Yeah. Right? It is difficult. Because essentially what you, what the individual, first of all, the person who is the victim, who is the victim, mm -hmm. right? And at various times, both may be, right? Mm -hmm. uh, because most cases of domestic abuse that we that we that that are actually filed are actually what we would just call fights, right? Okay, it would be a right. situation where where he's abusing, where he's fighting with her, and she's fighting with him too. Right. So is there, there are back and forth kind of things? Uh, that's the that's that's the majority of the cases. But in, in those cases where there where is a, even in those cases, in all cases, especially if it has gotten physical, there needs to be a physical separation of the two. Yeah. Okay. Agreed. We have to start. And I'm not talking about divorce. No. I'm talking about moving to moving a safe distance away from one another right. so that we can then work on ourselves. And then after that, work on the union. Right. And that will, and that may require moving out. That may require, you know, getting a different, living in a different residence for a period of time mm -hmm. uh, while you're going through counseling to heal uh, from whatever causes you uh, uh, to act this way, as well as causing a uh, heal from what has been done to you okay. in both, in both cases. Mm -hmm. And uh, then from a verbal standpoint, like uh, Pastor Adam alluded to earlier, finding out what these triggers are. How do we and how do we learn how to deal with these things? Anger management courses, mm -hmm. you know, and things like that can actually prove to be beneficial in, in, in that process of learning how to actually cope with stress and frustration in a, in a in a way that is productive and doesn't make situations worse. That, that's very good, very good. Pastor, I want to throw the same question to you. The difference is if resources are not there to live in separate places, be it temporarily, what is the best route that, that, that the couple who is experiencing domestic violence can take? <laughs> I was thinking about that song about, um, what was it, Erica Badu, where she sang about calling Tyrone or... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, I mean, it. honestly, right, you better call, you got, I mean, I really do believe that in order for real restoration and healing to take place within an abusive relationship, there has to be that separation. Otherwise, it's not going to take, it's not going to work. And so there has to be a physical separation between both the parties. I think one of the things too that needs to happen in terms of us really seeking out um, professional counsel, yeah. uh, therapy, that's actually going to help uh, us to figure some things out within our own personal selves as individuals. I'm not even talking about the relationship. I'm talking about us as individuals because unfortunately, a lot of these abusive relationships are a product of us having been in abusive homes. And we perpetrate the same cycle of violence on our loved ones that has been perpetrated upon us. And so what I mean is, is the fact that we have to get to a place where we begin to unpack who we are as people, unpack the traumatic experiences that we have had with a professional therapist that can help us put things back together again in a way that will promote healing and wholeness within ourselves. And, and it's only then that we can even think about trying to get back with our spouse. That's a great you point. I mean, my, 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 you can't have a fractured person trying to get back together with another fractured person because that's a fractured relationship. It doesn't work. And it's obviously the reason why this didn't work in the first place. So you got to get yourself together first. So I would really focus in on individual counseling, individual therapy, getting yourself together, finding out again, we said it before and I'll continue to say it again, finding out what your triggers are 
so that you can master those things so those things no longer trigger you in your relationship you know it's so, especially in situations like this where the vast majority of people of, of, of well, particularly women who are killed are killed right. by their domestic partner yeah you know we, we can't we, we can't be wrong here no right, right. you know we, we can't be wrong you know what I, what I wanted to do is get the the right prescriptive way mm -hmm. and then I want to take it to you minister Thurman to tell us kind of exactly what pastor John just, just uh, alluded to is what is the impact of not having that separation what are some of the potential impacts of not having that separation and I'll throw another chain, a link, uh, chink in the chain with children involved. Yes. Um, ongoing violence. Um, that's what happens if you can't get out immediately. Um, you put yourself in a situation where, where more severe things uh, could result out of that. Now kids are involved, kids see that. Uh, one thing about kids, I don't think we give them enough credit for. Uh, I know I did. Uh, I knew when my mom and dad weren't talking. Come on, y'all. I knew when things weren't right, so they see that. And then, then if you add on violence to that, uh, so if you stay in that situation, uh, that things could become even severe. Uh, it can come e become even worse in those situations uh, to that degree. Uh, I do agree uh, agree with, with separating. I think that's so important, uh, especially uh, when there's violence involved. And I do know that if people don't have the means, don't have the monetary means, uh, and if they don't have, as Pastor Adam said, if they don't have a tower on the call, well, I hope they got uh, a friend. I hope they yeah. got uh, a relative. And if not, then it's one thing a lot. Every county have uh, have um, shelters, have different places where you can go to uh, to get out of that that situ situation. Uh, I would never tell anyone to stay in a situation that's volatile in hopes of it getting better immediately. I agree with Pastor, um, Pastor John and Pastor Adams when they said to separate. But I want to put a caveat on that. Uh, that separation don't mean instant gratification either. Come on, y'all. Because right. as men, come on, we would want that thing to be reconciled the next day if we could. But if it took a month, if it took two months, I think mm -hmm. that's the same equal amount of time that it's going to take to have a successful uh, reconciliation period. Yeah. Um, so I'm, I'm really huge on it. I know sometimes we can have this instant gratification. Okay, she's gone now. Now I'm hit, hit with this whole thing. Now I want her back. Mm -hmm. Now I want mm -hmm. him back. Mm -hmm. But I think the same time needs to be put in at the time that it took to have that fractured uh, separation. Absolutely. I, I, I would I agree that, that I, I would never suggest to anyone any male or female that's the, where the abuse has gotten to that level uh, of, of, of harming you know physically harming one another uh, in a toxic environment plus with the children involved that i would never you know suggest that they stay in that relationship but unfortunately we do have religious authorities that do suggest those things and that do take the position of you know the the, the marriage mandate you know in the bible where you know you're, you're married to death do your part and Unless there's infidelity, you're supposed to stay with your husband and stay with your wife. Mm -hmm. Well, so here's the thing. Let me let me let me let me help with that a little bit. One of the things that the Bible talks about that we don't talk about very often at all in, in the Book of Ephesians mm -hmm. is the fact that the Bible talks about an abusive uh, spouse. Mm -hmm. it talks about the fact that it, about a, a a a spouse that physically abuses the other. Mm -hmm. It's actually in Scripture. And so he lets us know very plainly there that this is not supposed to be the case. Right. And it is also, and it is a violation of the marital mandate. Mm -hmm. It is a violation of the marital mandate. You can't be, as a man, I'm going to use me as an example. I can't beat my wife. And then when she says, I'm going to leave you, say, well, no, the Bible says you can't leave unless I commit adultery. <laughs> well, come on back in here and let me beat you some more. That's really? Ridiculous. Wow. Listen, yeah. The Bible, the scripture says, I beseech you therefore, brother, by the mercies of God, that you be transformed by the renewal of your mind, mm -hmm. not the removal of your mind. <laughs> That's right. Okay. Make that plain, sir. Let's make, let's make sense here, okay? Mm -hmm. You know, uh, especially when we've got the stats and the data now that shows how these situations end. It will be till death do you part. That's right. Mm -hmm. 
It will be if you yeah. don't do something to fix it in a very real, real. Hey guys, it's Pastor John here. Please, if you like this video that you just saw, hit that like button for us. Second thing I want to ask you to do is to go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We're putting out videos once a day at about 5.30 p.m. Hit that bell notification so that you'll know when a new video has been uploaded. And then the final thing to do, share this video, share this information. If you know somebody that has a need that it can be benefited by it, please put it out in circulation so that we can try to help as many people as possible. Thanks and God bless.